Welcome back everybody to Make Share Daily where you go to get your daily builds. And today on Mock Monday, we have built a Zen garden. It looks all haphazardly, but you know what? It's Lego. So we have built a Lego platform here. The bottom of it is a Lego um, soccer field. And then we've filled it in, plugged the holes up, and made up a wall that is four bricks high. And then we're gonna pour sand into the Zen garden. We've also made a rake, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So we're gonna pour the sand into the Zen garden and see if it holds right here live on the recording. So we're pouring sand in to our, oh, Zen garden. This is gonna be messy. No, I think this is exactly what I need. So we've put all the sand into the Zen garden and we have a little here, a little rock feature and a little tree feature, a little bonsai tree, if you will. So you can use this rake. This rake is uh, Technic pieces, just long straight pieces, uh, two, two by fours, plates holding it together on top of a one by six Technic with the holes on side. And then we have the one by one dots and a one by four plate for the, the teeth of the rake. So you can take the rake and you just put it into the sand and just rake it across. And the nice thing is, is it's level to this, uh, you can make it level to the edge real easy uh, because the, the, the edge is level. So you could use that as a guide as to how far down you want to rake. Now, the, the beauty of a Zen Guardian is, it's never 100% correct. So you just keep going back and forth over it and making a better circle or a better line, depending on what you're trying to make. And uh, you just keep going and going. And the nice thing is, is with this size of a Zen Guardian, I'm seeing a lot of small desktop ones that are pretty small and they don't allow you to really level it out or uh, have little waves uh, in the sand. But this size is really large and it allows you to really operate the Zen Garden at a level that is much better than the little desk side ones. So now I got a little hump right here. So I'm going to rake that and try to get that little hump out. Try to get it around there. Yeah, you could have a smaller rake or a larger rake, depending on what you're going for. If you have a smaller rake, you can have tighter low lines and tighter turns or more symmetrical turns. But also, the smaller the rake, the more wiggly your lines can look as well. So depends on what you're going for. So you could just sit here all day with the Zen Garden and create this nice little Zen garden feel to it. Make these turns, make the lines now into turns, whatever way you want to utilize it. You want to try? Sure. And then we use a little brush to uh, brush the sand off the rocks and whatnot. And you can use that just to get the sand into the place, you know, out of the places you don't want it. Mm -hmm. It's hard to be perfect at this, and that's what you strive to do, is the more you concentrate on it to make those lines very um, precise, 
the less you're going to be thinking about your worries and more and, and worrying about other things going on in the world. You're just concentrating on what you're doing. So that's what a Zen garden does. It allows you just to concentrate on what you're doing at the time that you're doing it and using the rake and making patterns, uh, tight patterns and long patterns. It makes you concentrate on what you're doing. Because if you were just raking it to try to pick something up, like raking leaves, well, your, your level of success is how many leaves you picked up. In this case, it's how straight your lines are. And the more straighter the lines are, the more you can feel like you're achieving a zen. But then you just wipe your lines out by using another pattern. You know? You can make a figure eight out of this. And now that's crossing all the other lines I had before. But now I have a figure eight. Right? So you can see up in the Ralph's camera is you can see the, the patterns that you can lay out in a Zen garden. And the beauty of having a Lego Zen garden is that after we're done with the Zen garden, we can just pour the sand into the lawn and then make whatever else out of our Legos. The beauty of having Legos is you can build something, tear it down, rebuild it into something else. So that's the beauty of having a Zen garden made out of Legos. Is you, it, It's not permanent. You could just tear it down and rebuild it into something else. Maybe a robot next time. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. And if you like this kind of video and you like our mocks, check out Mock Monday on our channel. Please subscribe. We'll have a lot more mocks in the future. And if you want to see daily videos, daily builds, make sure to subscribe. We do a daily five minute challenge each and every day, posted at 7 a.m. And if you like this, leave a comment. And if you didn't like this or you have suggestions on how to make this better, leave those comments as well. We'd love to hear about it. And if you build your own Lego Zen garden, take a picture, share it to our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just do a hashtag make share daily and it will get to us and we would love to see it. We'll probably repost it or retweet it and uh, make sure to share it with us so that we can do that. And if you want to see more of these type of videos, more Mock Monday or our five minute challenge, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for the notifications as to when our videos come out. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.